Welcome, digital artists! I'm Gali from AI Creative Tools and today we are going to talk about character consistency in Midjourney. Let's start! There are two approaches to character consistency in Midjourney, the basic one and the advanced one. Of course, we will start with the basic. OmniReference is the parameter that is responsible for character consistency in Midjourney. It works for people, animals, other creatures, objects, vehicles, and so on. So you can practically recreate anything with it. Let's try with some images I've prepared. Here they are. And in order to start, we need just to drag an image to the prompt area. And right under it, there is an Omni Reference field. Please note that if you are not dragging the image, you will not see this menu at all. So just by default, it is invisible. Drag your image and you will see it. You can delete this image if you made a mistake, or you can also lock it if you want to make several images with this reference. I will rewind some boring moments of this video in order to save you some time. Okay, finally done. Let's take a look at the girl. This is our reference image, and I would say that this looks similar. This one I like the most. Now the cat. Our reference. And the outcomes. And take a note that I actually didn't mention anything regarding style or colors. It just takes it from the original picture. And the headphones. This is not similar at all. This is maybe similar because we don't know what's actually uh, on the side of the headphone. Anyway, you can play with this similarity and see what you've got. As I've noticed, with photos it works a bit worse, but with illustrations and other images it works better. While experimenting with this feature, you have probably noticed that this Omni reference has a field only for one image. If you are trying to add another one, it will change the original image. So you can use only one image file here. But the AI makes better images from more reference data. So there is a workaround for that, actually. You can make as many reference images as you want and then just combine them in one collage file and add this collage file here. Something like that. I like this one, as I've already said. Let's go now to Photopy, Canva or any other editor of your choice. Drag your images right here. Then you just export them in your preferable format and drag right here. Now you have a better reference. The next interesting thing is Omni Weight. It's the weight of your reference image. Maybe you have noticed that all these girls have the same shirt as the original one and also, as I've already mentioned, they maintain the same style and colors. What if we would like this girl to have different outfit? In this case, this Omni Weight will help us. Omni Weight is a parameter and it's written like this. Its values range from 0 to 1000 and the default is 100. And here we can see the outcomes of this default value. If we decrease the value, then we can change the style, the outfit, the hairstyle or anything we like about the girl. This means that the weight of the original image will be lower. Let's try to make a photo of this image. As you see, I've mentioned photo even twice to ensure that it will happen. And also, I'm still describing the girl as she is. Let's add some emotion, by the way. Smiling. Because we have very contradictory emotions in our reference images. This was a difficult task, as I see, for my journey. Let's once again check out our original image. Here it is. And let's now take a look at the photos. This one is best, I think. I should say no freckles, because the original doesn't have freckles and Midjourney loves freckles. 
this is a little less photorealistic but still you see that it's very important even crucial to add the details of the original image as is so for example the eye color the hairstyle otherwise the results will be less satisfying and now let's see what happens if we increase the omni weight something like this by the way midjourney offers also to increase the stylized value when we do it but this will ensure that we will have more complex image and also maybe a 3d image but we don't want it so we will just keep it as is we need our reference image and the prompt okay let's see what we've got a <laughs> very funny cat okay this girl is very similar to the original one and as you see even the face expression is very similar we can add more reference images but it might be not a good idea for higher omni weight values because it will still copy one of the expressions it's the nature of high omni weights it's just copying what it's got all in all i will say that high values of omni weight are less common than the default or lower values and you already see why because lower values give us all the space we need to create variations of the same character with different clothing in different styles and so on and increasing the omni weight only leads to copying and actually a bit worse image quality now let's sum up the basics a bit because we need them in the advanced part parameter for consistent characters and objects is omni you can recreate people animals vehicles objects and other stuff quantity of reference images is limited to one it is important but we can work around it with adding a collage of images parameter for managing reference strength is omni weight decreasing it will help you to change style hair clothing and other details of your character also i would like to add that ai works now better with reference images made with ai and it doesn't actually matter with midjourney or other ai midjourney is better for midjourney and so on but the real images for some reason work a bit worse with ai for now so the ai will be more demanding to your photos and illustrations this makes sure that these illustrations are portrait views with clear face well lit and no profile use or bad lighting or other objects inside or other people in this image otherwise the results will be really unsatisfying now to the advanced way which is about using the journey editor to get more control over the result it will most likely be used only by professional illustrators i will just scratch the surface here because behind this approach there's a whole world of editing for this method you'll need two images one of the face and one of the full body view of your character you can do it in three ways first separately when you take the face of your character and use it as omni reference and then write a prompt to create a new image in full body view let's add that the gown is white and I'm using the decreased omni weight in order to make sure that she will change her outfit. Regarding the full body view and ensuring that you have it, we have a short instruction link in the description. Okay, let's run this prompt. Okay, done. Let's see what we've got here. A bad hand, unfortunately. This one is no better. This is a bad face and it's a good example for this advanced method because we are actually going to combine a good body with a good face from another image. So it's okay that this face turned out not good enough. Also, on this image you can see front and back view of your body. If you want to ensure it, you just can write it in your prompt front and back view. This dress is almost okay, I would say this as well so you can play with it a bit because the task here is to get a good body for the second way we are going straight into the editor and we are dragging our image right here this time we will increase the canvas size down to the bottom we will erase 
the bottom of her clothing. Maybe it's too much, a little bit less. And we'll write a prompt like this. Woman in full body view wearing jeans and high heels. And just like this, we're having a full body view of this image. Not all the images will be good enough, but this first one was okay. What I would like to add here is if you start only with the face and adding like 90% of the canvas, the results uh, will be worse. So if you're just moving down step by step, like adding 10%, maximum 20% of canvas, the results will be good. So that's why we're having so many not so good results in this case, because we've added actually more than 50% of the canvas. And the third way is actually starting with an image which already has two views, like this one, face view and a full body view. You can create this, this kind of side-by-side -side images with prompts made in our character prompt builder. Also, something like a character sheet will be valid for this task, like this one, yes? But I guess that this is better. In order to separate these images, you can also use the Midjourney editor. You are just cropping and you can write a very simple prompt, just like a woman. As you see, it's 100% success. Now we can upscale to gallery and then we just repeat the process. Just cropping the other part of the image. This we erase. Done, perfect. This one also goes to the gallery. And now let's continue with our initial girls, these ones. I think that I like this body, it's okay. And we've already made some emotions. Let's say this one. Once again, let's go to the editor. The first image we drag here is the full body. We are removing head from here. And as you see, I'm removing a little bit of shoulders as well. Also, we are adding the head. Thanks God that we have the same background because if you have different background, then you'd better probably cut the hair like this, yes? So that no background stays there. You can also use the Smart Select and it allows you to pick certain areas of your image, but unfortunately you can't Smart Select and then like this, cut a part of Smart Select. You can either Smart Select or Erase and Restore like this. Now we will decrease the size of the head. Something like this. I think that it's on its right place. And the prompt is very simple. As you see, Midjourney is filling in the missing area and it's combining two layers together right now. It added some necklace, but that's okay. That's actually okay. Okay, this girl looks nice. Another necklace. Oh, this is even better. <laughs> this, no. Okay, as you see, this method allows you to combine a body and a face from different images. And also you've learned to work with Midjourney Editor a bit. I hope it was helpful. Midjourney Editor also allows you to make other corrections in your image. For example, I don't like these gray spots. Just scrolling my mouse, I can regulate the size. Just like that, done. And here's a bonus tip. Another approach is to animate your initial images and then to grab frames with poses and expressions that you like from these videos. For this, it's better to generate videos in HD quality or to upscale the stills that you've got from these videos. I think that video might be one of the best tools for capturing dynamic action poses. That's it for Midjourney character consistency. As you see, it's a versatile feature and at the same time not a complex one. If you'd like to see more videos on character consistency with other AI tools, check the description box below for links to additional guides. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe. It really helps us grow. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.